Good morning. Uh, we ask you to join us again today to provide updated information regarding follow-up on yesterday's homicide to include notification of an arrest has been made. Uh, addressing you today will be Chief Ewens. Also available for questions will be Assistant Chief Stilley. Just like yesterday, please, if you would, hold questions to the end of provided information. And with that, thank you. All right, good morning, everybody. Thanks for your patience. The purpose of today is to provide an update on the homicide that occurred in the area of 3rd and P Streets yesterday in the early mornings. On Wednesday, August 31st, at 2 a.m., officers were dispatched to a unresponsive mail near North 3rd and P Street. Officers arrived and found Ronald George, deceased, 61 years old, in the field northwest of the intersection. Due to the ongoing work of investigators and LPD personnel in the last 24 hours, an arrest has been made in regards to the homicide. At approximately 7.15 last night, William Wright, 55 years of age, was arrested uh, near North 1st and West Q Street. In addition, investigative efforts and interviews conducted led us to an additional location near Northwest 12th Street and West Bond Street where a suspicious death is currently being investigated. Police will be remaining on scene today um, as the scene is processed. I want to stress that this investigation is in the early, very early stages and is ongoing. Investigators continue to conduct interviews, locate and analyze evidence to determine the timeline of the events leading up to the homicide and the suspicious death. I'd like to extend our condolences to Ronald's family and friends. I ask the public to respect their privacy as they, they grieve the loss of their loved one. We're asking that anyone with information or captured video related to this incident to come forward by calling our non-emergency number 402-441-6000 or the anonymous line for Crime Stoppers 402-475-3600. With that, um, I'll, ask, I'll answer questions as much as I can, but this is unfolding. We will have an additional news conference tomorrow um, at 10 a.m. with hopefully a timeline, a little bit more information for all of you. With that, I'll take questions. Just kind of understanding that it's, it's limited to what you can say, mm -hmm. uh, what exactly led you to Mr. Wright yesterday, kind of in the same area where this homicide happened? Well, it was ongoing work by our investigators, um, interviews with witnesses, uh, people that were in the area during the incident. Uh, that's what led us to, to him. Do you know the relationship between the two? Not yet. That's, that's something we're trying to figure out right now. And do, do you know when this suspicious death that occurred, uh, did this happen after or before? Do you have any idea, I guess, when exactly that occurred? We don't. Um, we believe it, it may have happened um, earlier days. We don't, I don't, actually, I'm not going to answer that because I don't know as of yet because we're still trying to figure out the timeline. Um, you know, he is cooperating, he is speaking to us, but we, we really, right now, I don't want to say anything that's not going to be a fact. Um, like the, you asked me yesterday, you know, what time it happened, when did officers get dispatched? It actually was uh, um, hours prior that he actually possibly uh, was deceased. Yes? Do we know the relationship with Wright and the suspicious death? And if the person who died suspiciously was a man or a woman, with the circumstances around that? We, at, right now, we do not know the relationship. Okay. And we're still trying to figure that out. Um, as you can imagine, this has led us in many areas in Lincoln, and we really want to get, provide accurate information, but we don't know that relationship as of yet. Um, I will say that, you know, the work that's being done um, is tireless by our officers. They've been up for probably 24 hours, um, processing scenes, interviewing people, and so the, we'll provide additional tomorrow. Do we know if the suspicious death, if that's a man or a woman? He was a man. Okay. And kind of similar, do you, do you know, I guess, what led to uh, Mr. George's death? Was there any kind of argument? And, and do you know the relationship between Mr. George and, and Mr. Wright? We're hoping to have additional information for you tomorrow morning so we can actually answer that question. Uh, it's something that we're diligently trying to find out. 
And I was just kind of curious of the timeline. So the, the Northwest 12th um, uh, person, mm -hmm. that person might have died well before um, yesterday, or was it, uh, I guess, during that interim? Do you know any, any idea when these deaths may have occurred? We believe the suspicious death happened first. Um, and then the death of Mr. George happened after. But again, it goes back to tomorrow, we'll be able to provide it in a better timeline on events. And are there, I guess, any clear injuries uh, on the suspicious death? What, what might have caused us? I guess what makes it suspicious? Well, that's why it's categorized as suspicious. We don't know yet. Um, and we're still trying to figure that out with all the evidence that we're collecting and processing the scene and things like that. We'll be able to give you more tomorrow. Do you believe Mr. Wright acted alone in, in, I guess, the only crime he's been accused of in the second degree murder? At this time, we believe he was. And is there a concern for the general public at all at this particular time? No. I don't, I don't feel that there is a concern for the public. Obviously, you know, two deaths is, is tragic. Uh, this is not something that I think Lincoln is used to, and I understand that. Um, no matter what, it's not easy to take. But we don't believe that there is any public safety concerns right now. Uh, I guess was, was Mr. George, was he a, a patron of uh, the People's City Mission? Was he in that area a lot? Was he well known to that area? I don't know his history, but um, you know, I, the mission has nothing to do with what has occurred. Um, these are individuals that uh, were outside of that, uh, the mission. So we're looking at, at uh, the relationships, um, not necessarily with the mission. Are you saying that these two, um, the suspicious death and this homicide investigation are connected? We believe, well, again, tomorrow I'll be able to tell you a little bit more and definitively answer that question. But you can't classify the suspicious death yet as a homicide? Not, as, not yet, no. As far as the blended weapon, can you confirm it was a knife or that was used yesterday on Mr. George? It was a knife. It was a knife. Mm -hmm. And I guess, how did you uh, find Mr. Wright yesterday evening? When did someone call in and, and say they saw him, or were officers doing call up in the area, or what led you to that location? You know, it was a hard work from the officers to locate him. Uh, they had an idea where he might be, and that's what led us to the area, and it was just great work by them. And it, but this particular time, you think that he was, was stabbed there, or do you think he was brought there? Uh, I'm sorry? Was, was he... Are you talking about the death in the field? The death in the field. Was he... We believe that was the location in which the incident occurred. Any other questions? I know it's, it's not a lot of information. Um, we really hope to provide you with a timeline tomorrow to make it a little bit clearer on the events um, and who's involved. And you can, you can imagine this is, it's an unfolding even as we meet today. And so I, I really do hope that we can provide some additional information for you. Is that it? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.